saved this because I thought one day we should make something of this. A failed project. <laughs> I love these failed projects, don't you? <laughs> so, this was part of... Uh, I don't know what it was part of, actually. I think it was resin and ice uh, project that I did. And I was kind of heating the... Uh, not heating, but setting the resin. And, uh, yeah, left it too long and that happened. However, look at the crazy funkiness that's been created. <laughs> Let's take a closer look, shall we? So, as you can see, uh, I left it too long. I left a stick in there as well. <laughs> and uh, look, at, look at this though. I mean, that just looks so cool. And I've saved this because I thought one day we should make something of this. I don't know what, but we've got to make something really, really cool out of this. Because, I mean, that there, that there is art. <laughs> I'm telling you now. In its weirdest form, that is a funky piece of art. Now, this is pretty funky already. Yeah, baby, yeah! But I reckon we can make this even funkier, eh? I've no idea what to do with it. We just have to figure it out as we go along. Know what I'm saying? X marks the spot. X marks the spot. X marks the spot. <laughs> Look at this. It's like we've got resin worms. Now we're going to be using this stubby wobby stub. It's actually called a step center. It basically pop it in your chuck like that and it finds the center for you. Well, something like that anyway. Right, okay, so <clears throat> just turning this, um, obviously we're breaking into the bubbles now. So obviously I'm getting all this, so obviously where we're getting into the bubbles, I'm sort of smashing it up a bit. So we want to try and keep obviously the view of all this, but obviously inside there, there's obviously air in there. Uh, so we want to try to capture as much of this as we can. So I'm gonna have to be careful now where I kind of go with this because I don't know, potentially, if we're gonna get down into this nitty gritty in there, then we're gonna lose all the effects that we wanted. Um, mm, 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 mm. Maybe we just flip it and maybe just cut it off sort of here, try to shape this area up instead. Cause I was gonna shape the other area up, but I don't know. Um, I don't know, let's keep on turning and see where we get with it. You're what the French call les incompetents. What? This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Now Manscaped have just hooked me up again with a bunch of really cool stuff just for you. It's their all-in-one performance package. This time they've included their new lawnmower 4.0. Check this out. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> it's almost as chiseled as me. I use this baby every day to trim up my beard and it's waterproof. So if I want to do it in the swimming pool, I can. Ha <laughs> ha, 
Looking sharp, Zemedi. Well, that's what my mum says anyway. Not only this, all this. Look at the new charging station. <laughs> this is Manscaped's fourth generation mower and it still comes with its advanced skin safe technology, which reduces nicks <laughs> and cuts on the most sensitive regions. Now these just aren't any old LED lights. This shows you how much charge you got in the baby. Up to 90 minutes of use with just one charge. One thing I do really love about this bad boy, it's got a cheeky little travel lock on it. Tap it three times. Activation of the safety lock, which means you can't turn it on when it's on the plane. And nobody can steal it and shave themselves without you knowing. Tap it three more times and she unlocks. Don't forget the weed whacker. Manscaped really have you covered from head to toe. Because for a limited time, you're gonna get my wife fronts. They're not mine, they're theirs, but they could be yours. And your very own fanny pack. I forgot to mention these are actually anti-chafing chafers. Now all you gotta do to get all of this stuff is click the link in the description below. You'll also get 20% off. Plus, free international shipping. Plus, the fanny pack and the anti chip and chafer briefs. Just don't forget to use my promo code NickZemedi on checkout. Remember, Manscaped, always use the right tools for the right job. Right, so my original plan on this was to try to capture all these really cool bubbles in here, but now thinking about it, they're not as deep as I kind of thought they were, and I'm just gonna chop out too many of them. I wanna try and keep as much of this in here as I can. So I'm just gonna take it off the lathe. I'm gonna try something else. Know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm still not happy. It's going back on the lathe. Right, this is where we've got to on this one, folks. So it's getting better now. I've put it back on the lathe, as you've seen, <laughs> um, and started turning it the other way round. Obviously, we had a lot of the bubbles this side, and I, I kind of wanted to capture those bubbles, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't happening, really, because obviously all the holes. So uh, I've started to turn it this way round, and I'm thinking whether or not once we finish this like this, we can maybe make this into really like a cool, like, I don't know, we maybe try and light it up if we can, like a light bulb of some kind, um, you know, and integrate it into a piece of wood. I don't know yet, but I reckon we can make some really cool, funky, arty type of piece from this. And I think the effects inside are gonna look really, really nice. Um, so I'm gonna just sort of finish this off a little bit and then we'll start sort of sanding it back. Um, obviously we don't wanna see any of this, so this will have to be inserted somehow into into something, another piece of wood, or I don't know yet. <laughs> I'm still working on it. Um, so I don't know, I don't know where we're gonna go with it, or what we're gonna end up with it, but I don't know. I think that 
Shame it's got a bit of wood, but I think that kind of adds to it, doesn't it? It sort of tells a story, eh? <laughs> tells a story of my failed projects. Right, let's carry on. Right folks, let me explain where we're at at the moment. So I've sanded this down now, we've got to about 400 grit on the old paper. Then I switched it up to the Ambrolon pads and as you can see, look at that. That's looking pretty neat, eh? Woo! Now what I'm gonna do now is we did this on a project a little while ago, or last time, can't remember now. Uh, yeah, it was the last one we did, which was the the shoelace project. <laughs> if you didn't see the shoelace project, check it out. Now I've obviously used these micro meshes on loads of projects, but I'm just saying I kind of used it the other day. Stop waffling, Nick. So I'm going to use the, the old micro mesh on this now. Uh, see if we can get this up really nice. Then we're going to give it a good polish. And then, well, I don't know then. I haven't got that far in my thoughts because I've no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I'm kind of thinking that we should maybe light it up because I think that will show the bubbles off quite well. Um, I don't really know. I don't know. Let's try this actually and see what this looks like. Hmm. Doesn't really. I don't know. I think it look quite. I think it will look quite good. If we get the right light in there, I reckon it'll look quite cool. Right. Let's put some, let's put some micro mesh on it. Right, that's the micro mesh done. Now, for some shellow wax cream. <laughs> this stuff polishes up resin like a beauty. If you want some of this, grab some from the Maker Central shop. <laughs> Don't need that much. <laughs> right, are we ready to watch this little puppy come alive? Crank up the old speed a bit now. And you really need to, to be using the micro mesh pads to get this to really give you a good result when you're doing your final polishing. Get right up to the grits, use the Abrolon pads and then jump onto your micro meshes. Oh yes. Now I found this. Um, I think it's a bit of you. Is it you? I don't know. Um, I know what it is, but I've just forgotten basically. And I'm not really that good with wood. You know what I mean? So it's a little bit winky wonky, but I kind of like that. And it just looks a little bit odd. You know, you've got a little piece that's sort of like here, which, you know, we could utilize. Um, and it's kind of just a bit strange looking. And I was wondering whether or not I can incorporate this piece into that. It would be wonky, but then who says it's got to be straight? So I think we should clean this up a little bit. And then maybe try and incorporate some kind of lightage within the woodage.
Now considering this was just a failed chunk of resin, I think it turned out kind of funkadelic. Well, I hope you enjoyed this project. I really like this piece of wood, actually. I think it is you. Let me know if it's not you. It's me, not you, it's me. Just let me know what you think uh, in the comments of uh, the piece of wood. It kind of sits on a slant, which is, which is quite cool, actually. So when it sat down, the, the kind of bulb, as we're sort of calling it, it kind of sort of just sits out. And actually it's really quite bright. Uh, it will be a really cool kind of like bedside lamp, I think that would look really quite smart. And you know, you could it could be a reading lamp. Um, works quite well with that little kind of light in there. It fits in there quite tight, so it's not really gonna go anywhere. Um, got my little uh, emblem on there. I put that one on there this time. Thought that was kind of like, you know, fitting. And you know, I just really like all the bubbles in that. I mean, look at, look at that. Look at the creation that that just, I mean, whatever happened in there obviously got hot. Um, I don't really know why the bubbles formed, to be fair. I mean, because, I don't know, maybe it was just the reaction against the wood in it. I'm not too sure. But there is a story in there. I'm sure of it. And kind of look here. Look. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It looks pretty neat. I just didn't want to, I didn't want to chuck this away because it just looks so cool and it kind of showered at me and sort of said, Nick, don't throw me away. <laughs> Make something with me. Well, that's kind of what I thought it said to me. But it did, it just sort of kind of gave me that talking vibe, you know what I mean? It just happens sometimes, you know, you look at stuff and you think, it's sort of telling me to do something with it rather than put it in the bin. And you know, you could just put that in the bin, but I've decided to make a little bulb light kind of like bedside lamp thing with it. <laughs> I hope this one was good uh, for you folks. I know not everything I make is gonna be everyone's cup of tea uh, <laughs> or coffee or wine or champagne. But, folks, you know, I mean, we go up and down and stuff and hopefully, maybe you saw last week's project and thought that was really cool. Or you thought it was really rubbish. And you thought this one was really cool. Who knows, you might have thought they were both rubbish. But anyway, I digress. If you could share this video, that would be amazing. And again, that would really help me out in the channel. And if I haven't done it already, I'm doing uh, some giveaways on Instagram soon for hitting 50K. So uh, kind of head on over there. You have to be following me on there. Hallelujah. You have to be following me on there and also on my Facebook page and obviously be subscribed to this channel to be eligibility. I have got the craziest, funkiest project in the making. It's been going on for a few weeks now. So bear with me on this one when it comes out. I just know you're all gonna love this one. <laughs> it will be the next project out that you'll see uh, hitting this channel. So please smash the bell button, the, the, the bell icon uh, in the right hand corner to be notified of my videos. And especially this one, you're gonna love it. Trust me. Don't forget to grab yourself a ticket for Maker Central 2022. Loads of makers coming. Jesse Ueda has just confirmed. Brett McAfee. McAfee? McAfee. Jimmy DeResta, Bobby Dukes, Al Hatchack, Lee Stoffler. He'll be doing a demo on stage. Yuri Trenchman. Trenchman? Tuchman. Tuchman. He's also doing a demo on stage. And Sean Everly. Check them all out. They'll all be coming to Maker Central, along with tons of other makers I haven't mentioned, but I can't mention all of them. But if you check out the website, you'll see all of them listed under makers. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you for the next Funkadelic project. <laughs>